Hey traders, welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I want to talk about trading entry. Should you be waiting for trade confirmation? Okay, the instances where you should be waiting for trade confirmation versus the instances where you should not wait for a trade confirmation. Now, this is a very common question. You know, as a trader, do you wait for a reaction at a price level or not? Okay, so in today's video, what I'm, am I going to be sharing? I'm going to be sharing um, what a confirmation order is first. Okay, there are basically two main types of confirmation orders, the limit and the stop orders. Just in case you're new to trading and you do not yet know these orders, I'll just do a brief run through. Then I want to tackle uh, the main question today, which is should you wait for confirmation of the level? Then I want to show you examples of uh, when you should wait for confirmation and when you should not wait for confirmation. So of course, uh, the answer to uh, whether you should wait for confirmation is it depends. Okay, you can see over here that there are instances where you should wait and there are instances where you should not wait. So that is why I created this video. I want to run you through uh, each of these instances and show you how to do it. Now, by the way, if you are new to this channel, please give us a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button. We create a lot of videos like this. We also have a, a free trading guide for you, okay? Teaching you a complete step-by-step -step Forex strategy that works, okay? Even in 2020, it works. So make sure you download that uh, if you have not. Okay, so let's go into the first part of today's video, which is uh, what are the confirmation orders that you can use? So there are two main types. There are the limit orders and the stop order. Okay, think of it this way. A limit order is just an order to buy or sell at a better price. Now, when you do a, a confirmation order, be it a limit or stop order, there is a chance that you may not get the trade, meaning that uh, the market doesn't trigger your order. So therefore, it doesn't guarantee ex uh, execution. So if let's say uh, you, are, you place a limit order to buy lower, let me see if I can draw it for you. Let's say price is uh, currently here and you place a limit order to buy at a better price, buy lower, and uh, price just drops down and goes back up without hitting your limit order, then uh, you would have missed the trade. Okay, so limit order is an order to buy or sell at a better price. So if uh, you are buying, of course, you buy lower. If you are selling, uh, you are trying to sell higher. Okay, that's how you use a limit order. The but, uh, stop order is just the opposite. It's an order to buy or sell at a worse price. So you might ask me, why do I want to buy or sell at the worst price? You know, you want to obviously buy or sell at the best price. Now, in cases where you are doing breakout trading, let's say uh, this is the range, and uh, you only want to buy when price breaks out of the range, then what you can do is you can place a buy stop order above, or you can place a sell stop order below. That means that when price breaks out, what happens is that uh, your order will be triggered. And conversely, if price drops down, uh, your order will be triggered. So of course, if let's say you place a buy stop and price doesn't go up, it drops down instead and it breaks down, uh, you, you wouldn't have lost money because uh, your trade wouldn't have been triggered. So these are the um, nuances of a confirmation order. Okay, it doesn't guarantee execution, but uh, it might save you some money, especially if, uh, let's say, you're doing a stop order and price doesn't trigger uh, your order, okay? So this is how you use it. So now I want to talk about the, the main question is of today's video, which is, should you wait for confirmation of the level? Okay, I cannot give you a hard and fast rule because the answer really is it depends, okay? But that doesn't mean that I can't show you what kind of scenarios you should use a confirmation and what kind of scenarios you should not use a confirmation, okay? I remember back then when I was still learning from one of my mentors, I uh, asked her a very similar question like this, should I do this or should I do that? And her answer was always, it depends. And you know, it used to frustrate the hell out of me because I just wanted the answer. You know, I just wanted a yes or no. But uh, back then, I didn't understand that there's a lot of things that go into uh, this decision. And so today, if you know you feel a bit frustrated that I give you an answer like this, you know, it depends. Yeah, I, I totally understand, right? I've been there. So just bear with me, okay? Because really, trading is not so easy. It's not so black and white. It's not binary. Meaning that it's not just a yes or no. There are many factors to evaluate. And with experience over time, what happens is that uh, you make better decisions. But at the start, uh, you may not make good des decisions, especially if, you know, you've been just trading for maybe one year, two years, or maybe even three years. 
okay so there is no such thing as a fixed answer because it depends on the uh, market structure okay over here no fixed answer so what i'll do is uh, i will uh, i will ask you i, I will ask us have you asked yourself some questions such as you know are institutional buying and selling at that level is the level being respected is the level very clean okay what do i mean by the word clean okay i'll just write it out here so when institutional players are buying or selling at a level then the level tends to be very clean so what do i mean by clean means that you 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 can see this kind of scenario so let's say you have a range and then a price breaks out and it retests nicely and it goes back up okay so this kind of scenario is where institutional players are buying and selling at a level because the moment level is being broken uh, they are you know they are defending the level so it's a very clean movement okay if you need videos on how to identify institutional buying and selling i will leave a link to those videos on the top right so you can check that out after you check uh, after you finish this video but not to worry because uh in this video i'll go through some examples to show you what do i mean by clean price action uh, movements so let's go through uh the first instance is when you should wait for a confirmation meaning that you want to wait for price to come to your level okay let's say uh let's say price is going up and uh, you predict that uh, this level is a good level to buy so you just wait for price to come to this level and you watch the reaction here Okay, so when I mean confirmation, I mean you watch for a price action uh, at that level to decide if that level is going to hold or not. So in this kind of scenario, when you want to wait for confirmation, you use it when the market is not clean. Okay, not clean and the horizontal price le level is not holding properly. Okay, so what do I mean? Let me just uh, go into the charts and show and pull out some uh, case studies for you. Okay, so let's say, um, let's talk about this uh, level over here. Okay, maybe I use another currency pair, uh, something that is not so clean. Okay, uh, currency pairs like pound, um, Aussie tend to be not clean. Okay, so what do I mean by not clean? So let's look at this level over here. Okay, let me just uh, do it. Let's look at this level. So what happened? Price broke the recent high. And after it broke high, instead of acting as support, price just went all the way back down. So you can see in this case that price did not respect uh, the resistance, right? You would expect the resistance to turn into support, but it, it, it just doesn't respect, okay? In fact, it just broke through, it go up, it come back down like this level didn't exist. Okay, so this is the kind of uh, structure that I mean that the price is not clean. Uh, you can see over here, so you have another example over here. You can see over here. Okay, same thing. Uh, this was resistance. What happened? Price broke above. Instead of acting as support, price just broke down. Uh, and then after that, price just hover around this level without you know showing that uh, this level is valid. Okay, so this kind of scenario is where the price action is not clean. Uh, the levels are not being respected properly. Okay, let me see if I can show you one more example. So this one over here. Okay, it's not too clean. I mean, uh, it, 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 it's, it kind of was supported, but you can see that you have a very long tail over here. Okay, so depending on how you put your stop loss, uh, you may or may not have lost money. So you can see that this was resistance, uh, resistance. but uh, when price came back here, it, it didn't really respect the level uh, clean. It's not a clean movement. Okay, this one, uh, let me see, just one more example. So something like this as well over here. So you can see that this was, uh, this zone was actually support uh, you can see that there's a lot of fighting here. There is this wicks, upper wicks, and there's this long wick up as well. So this kind of movement is not very clean. Uh, it is best to wait for confirmation because what happens is that if you do not wait for confirmation, and let's say you just enter on this level and you put your stop loss, if you do not enter it at the right time, uh, you would have probably lost money when price has this uh, big spike here. So if you have waited for confirmation, you may maybe you go to a lower time frame and look for a trend line break or a candlestick pattern. You look for confirmation and you try to catch an entry like that. Then uh, you would have 
probably made money instead of losing money. Now, in this case, it's probably a bit more complicated because uh, there was sort of a confirmation here. But if you put your stop loss above, you will still lose money. So what I'm just trying to say is that um, when you have situations like this where the market is not clean, the movement is not very structured, you cannot see the levels properly, then you want to wait for confirmation. Okay, so hopefully that is clear. Now let's go on to the last part, which is uh, when, uh, when do you not need to wait for confirmation? Okay, so when should you not wait for confirmation? Means when should you do a limit order? You know, if let's say you want to do a retracement trade, when do you just enter a, you know, let's say just do a buy limit or do a sell limit? Okay, now this is just the opposite. Okay, you want to do this when the market is very clean, levels are being respected and you can see it clearly. Right, and what you're trying to do is you're just trying to place a bet on that level and say that, okay, this level is likely to hold. Let me just enter it here. So let me go into the charts to show you a clean example. So hopefully you can contrast the clean versus the unclean uh, scenario. So right now I'm at the uh, Aussie dollar. Okay, so you can see that there are a series of uh, movement over here that is very clean. Check this out. This was the first bottom. This was support. Look where did price stop at? Exactly near this level exactly. So it's very clean. Then after that, what happens is that price broke resistance over here. We tested it again. You can see it's very clean. Okay, price broke resistance. We tested it nicely again so on and so forth then after that uh, you have another form of support this zone being support depending on how you draw it we tested again very nice here again you can see that uh, this resistance over here broken we tested very nicely here almost we tested so these are the kind of markets that you you can do a limit order meaning that uh, you just wait for price to break and then you just put in a limit order or if let's say you know you want to catch a retracement you can just place the limit order uh, at this few levels so this is how you do it this is recommended okay but let's say you are new to trading and you cannot uh, tell the difference between uh, the clean price action and the unclean price action then my recommendation to you would be to always stick to a confirmation okay in fact in our uh, day trading guide that we have prepared for you uh, we always talk about uh, the strategy MPE. So M stands for market condition, P stands for price level, and E stands for entry trigger. We always emphasize using a confirmation. So this is a bit more advanced, okay? If you are still struggling, please stick to the confirmation, okay? Irregardless of whether the market is clean or not clean, uh, if you are still struggling, uh, you should still wait for confirmation, okay? It, it may, you know, result in some missed trades or you might get a lower uh, reward to risk ratio but that is fine because you're still struggling you're still new right your your job is to learn how to uh, get the best levels how to identify the right levels and not so much about uh, maximizing your profitability so hopefully uh, this uh, sums up when you should use a confirmation and when you should not use confirmation now to end off, I'll just do a recap where I started this video talking about the confirmation orders, the limit and stop orders. Most of the time you should be using limit orders if you are doing the, uh, you, are, you are not waiting for confirmation of a level. Let's say you are waiting to buy at support, most of the time you'll be use, using the limit order. Okay, so I also addressed the question of, about whether you should wait for confirmation of the level, right? The answer is it depends, okay? So instances where you should wait for confirmation is when the price action is not clean. You cannot see the levels clearly. Price, you know, is struggling. And uh, let's say the price action is very, uh, you know, it's very, the wicks, the upper and lower wicks is very wide and you can't really see the levels clearly. Now, instances where you should not wait for confirmation is when uh, you are trading uh, with, let's say the trend and uh, you see the levels very clearly. Let's say uh, price breaks at important resistance and pullbacks to the uh, resistance. Okay, so these are the kind of situations where you want to wait, uh, just put in a limit order and just bet on the level rather than uh, wait for confirmation. 
So hopefully this video uh, addresses your question. But if you have any other questions, as always, just leave a comment down below. Our team love to help you. Okay, if you have not already liked this video, we would really, really, really appreciate if you could uh, like this video. It won't take you more than three seconds. Okay, then also make sure you to check out uh, the free day trading guide that we have prepared for you in the uh, description. If not, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the Telegram channel. If not, I'll see you in the next video.